The emotional tax of making videos. I am going to be talking about that, but it's also the title of a collab video that never came out between me and my friend Paul. We started this collab idea back in September. We wrote two video scripts. We filmed our respective parts and I edited my video entirely. And then I decided I didn't want to upload it. I'm going to play you a clip from the beginning of it. And then I'll talk about why it never went live. It's been another week. I should make a video. I need to make a video. I got to make a video. Wait, why? Equal parts consistency and quality equals success. But what does YouTube success even mean to me? Respect? I've been on this website for years. My brain hurts. Let's watch Big Hero 6. Hello, I'm Paul, your personal healthcare companion. Are you quitting YouTube? Paul, you're in my TV. And no, I love YouTube. I'm always in your TV. But if you love YouTube, why aren't you making a video right now? It's not that simple. Making videos weekly like it's your job when it's definitely not is a choice. It's cute, right? Because we live in two different places. We created a way to both talk to each other. So the original idea was the emotional tax of watching videos. And Paul's actually uploaded that part of the collab the way it was originally intended up on his channel. Um, that was the original idea and we wrote a script and it was really good, well thought out, beginning, middle, end, message, etc. It was something that we had talked about randomly in like other Skype chats before and realized we both felt the same way. Um, so we decided, yeah, let's make this into a video collab. But then we wanted to do something for my channel. The idea we came up with for my channel was the emotional tax of making videos. And our script came from Skype chats, actual things we said to each other about making videos. And because of who me and Paul are, and a lot of what our friendship is uh, about, um, is this sort of bonding over being very small YouTubers surrounded by successful people and with this desire in our hearts to be successful on this platform. Um, that's something that I'm reevaluating a lot lately, uh, but I know for Paul it's still very true, is this, this frustration of being undervalued by YouTube. I mean, it's it's true that if you have under 10,000 subscribers, YouTube really doesn't acknowledge you as someone who is important enough to do certain things. And I get that. They have to draw the line somewhere when it comes to the YouTube creator space and next up and things like that. But, um, you know, it just, it con constantly made us so annoyed. So that's kind of what the video became. It was less about the general idea that doing this, setting up a camera on a tripod or on a stack of books and making sure you have light and like thinking of your idea, making sure your sound's working, like, and then making that and then editing that and that whole thing being emotionally taxing. It became more about complaining that we were small YouTubers, <laughs> which is fine when we're just chatting on Skype, but for an actual video, it was kind of pointless. And by pointless, I mean there was no flow to the video, to the script. There was no message at the end or no real direction to where it was going. And it just came across as a little obnoxious, I think, especially on my part, like watching myself it's just, oh, it's like it's the same, same tune, you know? We couldn't get past that. We couldn't get past that to create something where we were being completely objective. And I just think we failed. The video for Paul's channel works because we are talking about consuming content and being viewers and being the audience. And I think that's something that changes and evolves. But everyone can kind of relate to that in the YouTube world because you know, nobody makes videos on YouTube and then doesn't watch videos on YouTube. I think it was a learning experience. 
I think it was good. I'm glad I didn't just upload it anyways. Like, I almost did. I almost said, you know what, it's fine. It's not perfect, but I, we spent all this time and work, and I don't want to let you down, let Paul down by just saying no. But I couldn't. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. I couldn't upload it. This way, the good video, the one that actually works, still gets to exist, and then hopefully you did get something out of this, and maybe in a weird way this video is also about how it can be emotionally taxing to create content because sometimes you fail at it and you have to own up to that and admit it in order to move forward and get better. Videos, videos, working on videos. Okay, let me try this like Paul does. If you like this video, please subscribe, share it on Facebook, Tumblr, and Twitter. If you'd like to help me, please join my Patreon. Even at the $1 level, there are rewards. <laughs>